At this time, we're going to go through a series of problems, and we're going to apply our knowledge of velocity, displacement, and acceleration in order to solve problems related to motion. When we're solving problems, it's always good to use the systematic strategy. Uh, and after you read the uh, problem carefully, draw a diagram, which sometimes means drawing Cartesian coordinates. Write down what you know, circle and label what you know within the question, identify what you don't know, pick a formula, use the formula, and you use it by rearranging it for the variable you're solving for before you substitute numbers in, and then substitute. So if you use a systematic step-by-step -step procedure, it will reduce the likelihood of you making mistakes when you problem solve. Everyone makes mistakes, no one's perfect, however, if you use uh, systematic strategies, it reduces the possibility of making mistakes or probability. So let's look at this. Your velocity changes from 60 meters per second to the right to 100 meters per second to the right in 20 seconds. What is your acceleration? Are you accelerating? Sure you are, because you're speeding up. You're going from 60 to 100. So just imagine you step on the gas pedal and you speed up. You go from 60 to 100. Hopefully not that fast, but you get the idea. Your velocity is changing as time progresses. So let's take a moment and in this problem we can identify what we know. We start off with some speed. I'm going to call that V naught, the initial speed of 60 meters per second to the right. So that's positive because it's to the right and we end up with some speed later on a VF of again positive 100 meters per second to the right and we have an elapsed time of 20 seconds. What is your average acceleration or what is the acceleration this object experiences? Acceleration is defined as delta V per delta T and the change in anything, let's say velocity is the final velocity, v minus, or vf, I'm just leaving it as v, minus the initial velocity, so that's the delta v, again divided by the elapsed time. So we've defined the equation, and we've written the equation in a manner so we've isolated the variable we're solving for. Acceleration is what we're solving for, what is the average acceleration? So now we're at a point where we can rewrite the equation and we're going to substitute the numbers in and we don't need delta V over delta T. We'll use the latter half. The final speed was positive 100 meters per second minus the initial speed positive 60 meters per second divided by the elapsed time, 20 seconds. So I'll rewrite again, step by step. The acceleration is the delta V per delta T. And the change in velocity, again, is VF minus VI, 100 minus 60, positive 100 minus positive 60 is positive 40 meters per second. So that's how much speed we gained, if you will. Rewrite. Divided by the time it takes, 20 seconds. 40 over 20 is equal to positive 2. Try that again. And meters per second over seconds are meters per second squared. Positive two meters per second squared is the answer.